the Ukrainian defense forces have introduced a new type of attack weapon, which merges the capabilities of a missile with those of an unmanned aerial vehicle. Called Palyanitsya and officially acknowledged by the President of Ukraine during the Independence Day celebrations on August 24, this long-range kamikaze UAV made its combat debut just hours earlier in a significant drone attack against what they referred to as enemy targets inside the Russian-occupied territories of Ukraine. In today's video, we'll break down everything we know about this new drone missile, its features, and its potential impact on the conflict. Let's dive in. There has been much speculation about the first use of Ukraine's new Palyanitsya drone missile. While President Zelensky stated that the weapon was used today, coinciding with a Ukrainian long-range attack on an ammunition depot in the Voronezh region of Russia on the night of August 24, it is still unclear if the two events are directly connected. Reports from that night described an attack of Ukrainian drones, and local footage captured sounds consistent with a jet engine, suggesting the possible use of the Palyanitsya. However, Ukraine's Strategic Industries Minister provided another perspective, stating that the Palyanitsya was not used in Russia, but rather for a strike against a target in a Russian-occupied area within Ukraine. This ambiguity reflects both the sensitive nature of the operation and the strategic importance of the new weapon in Ukraine's evolving military strategy. Regardless of the specifics of its deployment, the Palyanitsya drone missile, named after a traditional Ukrainian bread, holds both symbolic and practical importance. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, the word Palyanitsya became a linguistic test due to its challenging pronunciation for non-native speakers, particularly Russians, because of the unique phonetic characteristics of the Ukrainian language. As a result, the term has since come to represent Ukrainian identity and resistance. Developed under strict secrecy, the Palyanitsya is classified as both a missile and a drone, suggesting it was designed to achieve an optimal balance between destructive power and cost-effectiveness. Although there is limited official information about the specifications of the Palyanitsya, it has been described as a high-speed, precision-targeted projectile. Unlike traditional mortar or artillery drones, this rocket drone represents a completely different class of weapon designed to deliver rapid and accurate strikes. President Zelensky described it as such, a completely new class of weaponry, representing a unique Ukrainian innovation. This approach, which contrasts with the higher cost of traditional cruise missiles, allows for more feasible mass production, making the Palyanitsya a practical choice for extensive use in an ongoing conflict. Apart from the official statements, Ukraine has also released a video that provides a closer look at the Palyanitsya. The footage shows the drone's aerodynamic design, which closely resembles that of traditional cruise missiles. The Palyanitsya has a central body with wings positioned toward the front and a tail section equipped with four control surfaces, a configuration typical of cruise missile designs. It is launched from the ground and powered by a turbojet engine granting it long-range capabilities. The engine is reportedly adjustable for optimal fuel efficiency, allowing the missile to maintain an economical flight speed over extended distances. According to various sources online, its range is sufficient to target more than two dozen enemy airfields of the Russian-occupied area within Ukraine, or around 700 kilometers. Ukraine's battlefields have effectively become a testing ground for new weapons and adaptations of existing ones. We've seen many times how both Ukrainian and Russian forces have improvised with off-the-shelf equipment. Russia, for instance, has upgraded Soviet-era unguided bombs with GPS guidance systems, while Ukraine's underwater drones have inflicted significant damage on Russia's Black Sea Fleet. However, the development of a new long-range weapon like the Palyanitsya has been a key objective for Ukraine. One of the specialists involved in the project described it as a completely new development from scratch, initiated around 18 months ago. In fact, earlier this year, Sutton, a well-known military technology expert, 
analyzed the characteristics and potential capabilities of a drone that we now believe is the Pallianiccia. He estimated that the platform is about 3 meters long, with a wingspan of 2.5 meters, and features detachable wings for easier transport and storage. Powered by a German-made JetCat P400 PRO commercial micro-turbo jet, the drone also bears some resemblance to the British Banshee target drone, but it appears to be an entirely Ukrainian creation. This is now officially confirmed. Ukraine has been focused on developing its own long-range weapons, especially as its allies continue to limit the use of Western-supplied missiles like the USATACMS and the Anglo-French Storm Shadow and Scalp cruise missiles against targets on Russian soil. This underscores the importance of homegrown weapons like the Palianitsya in Ukraine's strategy. But whether it will be used to strike deeper into Russian territory remains a question that could shape the future course of this conflict. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.